the Orwell games are simply brilliant. No, seriously, there's no hidden but here. If there ever was a series of games that I can recommend to literally everybody, it would be these two. Not because of their gameplay or their writing, though both of those are still good. No, the reason why I recommend you go out, buy and play these two games is because nothing I've ever seen elsewhere demonstrates the problems of government surveillance better than this. In the first game, you're put into the role of an agent tasked with finding the people responsible for a terrorist attack involving the detonation of an explosive at a public plaza. This all takes place in a fictional country called The Nation. The character you play as isn't a citizen of the nation though. Its government is outsourcing the surveillance of its people to external contractors who get paid to scour the internet and tap into phone conversations. Your job is to feed information back to a software called Orwell which stores and processes all this data. You also have an advisor who only gets to see the data that you feed into the software and they draw their own conclusions based on what information you feed them, which also determines certain future actions in the narrative. You can choose to omit information and sometimes you find conflicting or contradictory data where you have to choose which of the two you want to pass along, since it doesn't allow you to just collect both. You get to violate the privacy of a number of citizens of the nation and in the process you have to figure out who's behind the attacks. Naturally, everybody has a motive since the government of the nation isn't too well regarded in certain spheres of its population. The second game features a story about an immigrant activist from the fictional country called Parges, which shares a border with the nation. His goal is to take on the nation's government because he believes that the president of Parges is a puppet installed by the nation, and that the nation frequently interferes with Parges to both further their own ambitions and also to distract from what's happening in the nation. He draws the eye of Orwell towards himself when he contacts a soldier from Parges while making threatening statements just shortly before said soldier disappears. The clever thing about this narrative is that it takes place at the exact same time as the story of the first game and even features some overlap. You can even import your previous character and the events that played out during that character's playthrough happen in this story as well. While the first story was concerned with just the observation of the nation's people, the second game focuses more on the relationship between the nation and Parges. What fascinates me the most here is that both games obviously want to steer you into doing the right thing. And by the right thing, I mean to not simply rat out everybody and instead really take in the context of what people are saying. Every data chunk that you can collect in your database tells you what exactly is being extracted from it. So if, say, a character is angry or says something metaphorically threatening or violent, or if someone is generally impulsive, the data chunk reveals that Orwell and your advisor always take stuff like this 100% literally. There's no room for nuanced interpretation or metaphor. It really makes you consider what information you're willing to feed into the system and what's better left where it is. At first, I thought that this was fairly annoying, especially because it can also happen at times when you really have no other choice than to pick up a data chunk for the story to progress. But that too is part of the message that the game is sending. Government surveillance often lacks context and instead uses isolated details from which to conclude the bigger picture. Multiple times your advisor draws conclusions and puts action into motion against characters just as new information about them is coming to light, so the game constantly reminds you that these are supposed to be real people. They may lie to certain characters too and therefore lead you into the wrong direction. And forcing you to ignore that context at certain points, even though you're aware that it exists, should tell you as a player something about government surveillance and maybe inform your opinion of it. The game also forces you to focus only on characters that the game lets you investigate. Now this is obviously a limitation of the game in and of itself, because the developers can't create tons of meaningless characters for you to investigate, only for the lead to go nowhere. But it also once again comments on how government surveillance can sometimes turn a blind eye to the obvious by merely focusing on whatever is directly in front of it. The second game makes this fairly evident by introducing you to your target's brother fairly early on, and yet it doesn't allow you to investigate him for quite some time, despite it being clear that his involvement could further your investigation. The thing is though that at this point I have to mention that the actual gameplay is fairly simplistic and rudimentary. In essence it's little more than a visual novel since most of the time you're just reading. There's little in terms of flair going on, you're literally just staring at a piece of software for most of it, browsing the web or reading along with phone calls or text messages. The second game thankfully features some voice acting for the phone conversations and podcasts but you're still mostly just reading stuff. I get that this isn't everybody's cup of tea and that many people don't play games to simply sit there and read something, so the Orwell games won't be for everybody. But I'd still urge you to try them out simply because of how effectively they convey their message. They're also not that long. 
The first game takes around 5 hours to complete and the second one around 3 hours. Though there is plenty of replay value to see how things might turn out otherwise if you made other decisions and maybe played as a blindly loyal character who doesn't care about whose lives he gets to ruin. So yeah, all in all, I can definitely recommend the Orwell games.